Hello all my kings and queens, Queen Gully here. What is up all my kings and queens, Queen Gully here on RuneScape and today I'm bringing you an in-depth guide on the puzzle boxes for the hard clues in RuneScape. This one happens to be, just happens to be the uh, the weird this guy, you know, <laughs> I don't know what exactly what he is. Um, a few things I need to say before we get into this. If you are one of my subscribers and you're just watching this video because it's a new content, I would highly recommend you uh, click out of this video because it is going to be a long one and it's not worth uh, wasting your time if you're not actually looking for this guide. Um, also, I would highly, highly suggest you put annotations on for this video. That being said, let's jump right into it. So, I take it that if you're looking at this guide, you pretty much don't know how to do these puzzles. And so, the first and most important thing I could probably say is don't try to do the puzzle all at once. Like, don't look at the puzzle as a whole. We, we're going to be doing the puzzle in pieces. Uh, five pieces, actually. We're going to do four steps, and it's gonna we're going to work on the five rows. So here's row one, row two, row three, row four, and row five. Now... The way I do these is, like I said, we're going to start row by row, starting with the first row, which is this one. We're going to complete this. And what I do is I like to think of it as a train. So if we come over here, look at our hint, we can see that the top row, not looking at anything else, looking at just the top row, that it has a specific order to it. So this one over here would be the fifth one, and the one on the farthest left would be the first one so thinking of it as a train and the fifth one will be the engine and the last one will be the caboose now so next we need to find all the pieces so we already have the fifth and the fourth connected over here we have the third what's next all right all right second and first uh, now we need to put the train together. It's a broken train, it's not connected, and we need to connect them. So since we already have the fifth and fourth together, we're going to need to put the third one right next to here. Um, I have specific uh, design I put them in, and you'll see that when I'm done. But once you have two pieces connected, never separate them. That's, that's what's cool about it. Once you have two pieces, two pieces of the train together, you never have to separate them again. So let's bring this around so we can grab piece number three. I'm going to be doing this. I'm, I'm not going to doing. I'm not going to be doing any editing, so it makes it easier for you guys. So you can follow me click by click if you want, or you know, or you could skip ahead. It doesn't matter. I'm doing it click by click because the first guide I found, uh, I just went click by click because you know these are hard if you don't know what you're doing. All right, I need to find the last, second to last piece, which is this one. And I'm gonna bring it over over this way and finally the last piece I believe is close already right here so as you can see I have my entire train right this way now sometimes you'll need to be going you'll need to move the train forwards as trains usually do uh, or you're gonna have to put it backwards to fit it on the top row so anyway like I said I've connected the entire train just like this they're all connected, each piece. So five, four, three, two, one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back the train up, never separating these pieces. Remember that, never separate the five train pieces. Let's say, so we're just gonna keep moving these along, never separating them until we can get it, all the pieces on the top row. Let's see here, okay. Now, this may be confusing for most, because you see here, look, all right, well there's our caboose, it's in the right spot, but this one's way down here, and we gotta get it up here. So let's separate, nope, nope, never separate them. Just keep backing up, like so. Now you see, now we can switch the train's gears and get it going forward. Just like so, you see how this is working? You see, I moved that entire row, I completed that entire row without ever separating those pieces. 
Alright, now you are done with the first row, and the good news is, you will never ever touch that row again. Ever. Okay, it is, it's not part of the puzzle anymore. Now, all we're concerned about is the second row, which is this one here. Um, so, like the first row, we're going to need to find uh, all pieces of the train from 5 to 1. And the fifth one is, hold on. Yep, it's this one. Um, I have a specific way, like like last time, I have a specific way I put them in, but it doesn't really matter, because as long as they're connected to train, um, as long as they're all connected, one piece after the other, it doesn't matter where they are, I just do it my way, because I find it easier, and uh, I've been doing it, you know, the whole, like that, the entire time I've been doing these. So, this is the second piece, so we're going to, we're going to go ahead and go grab that. Bring this down and around. Alright, we now have the fifth and fourth piece together. Now we need the third piece, which is this one. Let's bring this one down. Alright, we have three pieces of the puzzle all together. Next piece is this one I believe hold on yep this one so let's go grab that one all right I have five four three and two last piece is this one it's in the right spot but we're gonna go grab it anyway because we got to connect the train if the train is not completely correct connected um, sorry connected it's not gonna work. All right, so now you ha I have five, four, three, two, and one of all the second row, and now we just need to bring it um, all the way up to the second row. Now, since I can't do it like I did the first one, I can't back this up and then back put it in first again because it won't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the first one, I'm gonna bring it around like so, so we have one, two, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna make a really tight turn on this train. Uh, be careful not to get the the pieces mixed up, because then it's a it's kind of a bugger to undo again. So five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Now don't don't if you're doing it like I did, don't bring this all the way to the end, or else you won't be able to bring uh, your empty space all the way around. So we're going to leave it at the second to last, second to last from the left I mean, and then we're going to turn again so we can get up to the top, and this, bring it around again, alright, all the way up to the top here, alright, now we can start bringing this piece around, never to, remember to never separate these, the train pieces, and if you do separate them, it's no, it's not a problem. Just connect them again and go ahead and start over. Alrighty, almost there. All right. So, like like last time, we have this piece, these pieces in the right place, but we need this one over here. So instead of trying to break this piece off and putting it up there, we're just gonna bring this piece down. Well, not this piece, the whole train down. And now we can bed all up one space because now this is on the on the right row. And boom, second row done. Never need to worry about it again. It's no longer part of the puzzle. It is complete. All right. This is where it gets tricky because it's okay. I shouldn't say tricky just because it might be a little scary. But it's it's a little more difficult because we don't have enough room to maneuver in. But we're going to be doing the same thing. Um, as these two we're gonna be making a train but I would highly recommend you put the train in the order that I give you because it's uh, it's much easier than uh, most of the others I've tried so if you find one that works good for you but this is uh, the one I'm going to do and it works most and it works for me all right so like I said 
this is going to be the third row. So we need to find all five pieces of these, starting with this one and ending on this one. So let's find this piece. Where is it? All right, this one. And we're going to put it, I like to put it, right smack dab in the middle. Well, all righty. Put that in the middle. All right, and then this piece. All righty. So five and four are now connected. And then this piece, yeah, this piece here. I'm gonna get that one here. So five, four, three. Second piece is this arm right there. And last piece is this curly one way over here. So we're gonna bring this around. All right, now see, I can't bring this up and around to here. I want it here. I just want you guys to know that I want it here. Um, so instead of breaking up the entire train that we've already connected and then putting it over there and then reconstructing, uh, all we have to do is just maneuver the train around it's okay to move this piece again because, um, you know, we, we're we're moving the train right now and we don't need to worry about it. So, like that. All right, let's move the train one more time. All righty. Actually, never mind. I don't need it right there. Uh, since it's already all in the right spot, all we need to do is just uh, put that together. Boom. So uh, like I did, remember I wanted that extra piece over here. So I just, instead of breaking up the train, I just moved it. And while moving it, that piece came around and I was able to connect it with the train. Remember, I didn't put it right there. I connected it with the train first and then I was able to move it. If you try to do something without connecting it to the train, it's not going to work that well or it might not even work at all. All right, now, if you've seen other guides, you'll probably know that they treat this whole area, this whole, these two bottom rows, it's gonna be one step, but they treat it as something else. But what I like to see it as is one big train. So instead of five pieces, we now have nine pieces of the train. It's a super long train. Uh, I think this is the easiest part of the puzzle, but it can get frustrating if you don't focus and if you don't listen to these instructions um, carefully, it could get uh, a little messed up. So what we need to do is we need to find the head of the train. And the head of the train is going to start here. And the tail of the train is going to start here, as you can see uh, here. So the head of the train would be, hold on. The head of the train would be this one. And the tail would be this foot. All right. So. We don't need to get these into any spot. We just need to find we just need to find them and get the second piece behind them. Not next to them. If you get it next to them, it's not going to work. You need to get them behind them. So, we're going to start with this piece and we don't need to move it because it's already just there and it's already part of a snake. It's a snake by itself. I keep saying snake. I mean train. My bad. So, next, we need to find the second piece which is going to be this one and we need to put it behind this piece so we can we can continue to move this piece along but we need to we need to get this piece behind it so what I do is I just keep moving it moving it along All right, so now we have this piece and this piece, uh, this piece behind this piece. Um, you guys want to make the train by putting it here because it happens sometimes in, in when you're in this area. So what you got to do is you got to have this this piece behind this piece because this this is just going to keep moving around uh, in this circular pattern. So now we need to find the third piece of the train which is this one so we're gonna move the train around since we can't really move 
any of the other pieces. All right, so as you can see, we have five, uh, actually it'd be nine, but nine, eight, seven, part of the, part of the train, and it's gonna be, so yeah, that's all completed. Next we need to find the, the fourth piece, which is gonna be this one. So bring that, I don't need to move the train for this one. Hello, move please, thank you. All right, so now we have these all there. Oh look, and we have this one already connected. Didn't need to move that one. All right, so now we need to go down. So we're gonna. So the train will go this way, and then we need to go down, right, right here. So we need to find the bottom half of the club. Is this one? And we're gonna have to move the train around because there's not much room for the thing to move. All right, get that all settled. Uh oh, I think I, did I move it too far? I believe so. We'll just move it around again. Cool thing is, when you mess up, you just keep moving around until you get it, until you can fit it into the right spot. Almost there. Come on. One more. One more. Come on. All right. So now we can get this bottom half of the club right behind the top half which is going to be the next piece now we need to find the right foot of the creature which is this one the foot pointing to our left and best to our luck it's already there and then we need to find the leg the little leg piece which is already there and then that piece so now we have the whole snake already made and since we don't need to do anything we're just gonna move it around the whole the whole bottom section is just about moving it around So literally, all you need to do right now is move the pieces around until they fit into the right place. Just like that. And congratulations, you have finished your puzzle box. You may return it to whoever gave it to you, and good luck on your clue. Uh, best of luck. Hope you get um, the third age, good items, whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guide. If it helps you out, please hit that like and subscribe button. It only takes a second of your time and it really, really helps me out. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Again, I really hope this helped. And that's all for me. Queen, out.